Good evening. We're all gathered here today to talk about the Meyer Circle Seahorse Fountain, one of the treasured iconic fountains in Kansas City. But I just didn't want to talk about the fountain. I want to show you the fountain. This sculpture is a partial replica and partial original sculpture that J.C. Nichols found when he was traveling in Europe back in the early 1920s. It was incorporated into a fountain designed by a prominent Kansas City architect, and it was finally made operational in 1925. Now, this fountain, as a part of Meyer Circle on Meyer Boulevard, is named after August Meyer, who was the original president of the Parks Board. It's a great tribute to Mr. Meyer. This fountain is passed by 40,000 cars every day in Kansas City down Ward Parkway Boulevard. It was probably a prominent factor in Ward Parkway being honored by one of the 10 streets in America. We all have a history that go back to this fountain. Many of us had high school activities that predominated this fountain. Some from Southwest High School even skinny dipped in this fountain as seniors. Others have wedding shots taken in front of the fountain. And some of you, maybe more than you'd be care to admit, maybe have had a vehicle altercation going around this fountain because you just can't keep your eyes off this fountain. So let's step back and look at the full beauty of the Meyer Circle Seahorse Fountain. This round circular basin in the middle of Meyer Circle holds over 100,000 gallons of water. It has powerful jet sprays shooting water 30 feet high out of the basin. And also, the three seahorses are spraying water out of their mouth. The combination of that provides a spectacular spray that's particularly evident during sunrise and sunset. It truly is a spectacular asset on Kansas City's prominent boulevard. I think the fountain really gives Kansas City its name, the City of Fountains, along with two or three other iconic fountains. It is one of my favorite fountains. Now, we've taken the liberty with the help of Duracom lighting professionals to use a 3D simulation to recreate this fountain using multiple shots taken around the circle. And so this is a simulation of what the fountain might look like when it's fully operational thanks to the good help and donations from all of you in this room. We're so excited to present this and using the technology of Duracom lighting professionals, they really can create something that looks so real. It's almost as if you're standing right there experiencing the fountain yourself. With the technology from Duracom Lighting, they have ingeniously recreated the fountain through 3D technology simulation. And I feel like I'm just right there in the fountain with that technology, almost like I could be splashed right now. <laughs> 